No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. T type stuff, type stuff. Nice to meet you too, buddy. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought, brought a couple, couple guests. guests. Yeah. Boy, he's a lifesaver. Your boy's a lifesaver. Life glad well, he can be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, no, they try to say like I can't. Like pretty bad yeah. there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch, and I'll go see what I have. I bet he tried to say I kidnapped that girl. We all know what he tried to say. Let's have a look. Girl, don't yeah. give me no, don't give me this no roofie, girl. I don't want to go out with you. He gonna, he gonna kidnap me. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? Doesn't matter, right? Ha. Huh. Well, if you're gonna be here overnight, I'm gonna need it. Unless you'd rather hit the road. It's Lee. Well, Lee. Just Lee, I take it. I'm Herschel Green. Nice Herschel Green. How'd uh, this happen? car accident that's so where are you headed before the car accident home where's home i grew up in Macon. Bro, you know, bro, why are you asking me all these questions Things like, like being weird and stuff, on the road hey, come who on are you with it. the girl nobody is that so yeah it is you said we that's all. House is full of mm. mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clementine. Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son, right? Yep, yep. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, Sean, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks uh, in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. You racist really? piece of I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or right, swelling chat, come on, chat, down, time. you're probably dealing with an infection. Shaman time. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Ah, oh, nah. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. 
Yep. Anywhere farther than where you going. All right, then. They really it got it sleeping like... outside in the field. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. Yeah, it was a swear, but you know, every once in a while you just got How to... How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh. Far. Okay. They should be good. They they far. I love you, baby. <laughs> Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away. Huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we attack along. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Oh, uh, yo, yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's cool, man. Cool, right? I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Well, if they do some weird stuff, man, it's gonna be wrapped. They gonna try to kidnap her from me, man. Oh uh, yeah, we still do got that walkie-talkie, man. Nice, nice, nice. Probably gotta help bro out. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Uh, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. Yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Right. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy talk, grabbed my boy. Like I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and Christ, just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Seems like those two are getting along. Let's 
seeing where my boundary up boundaries are and where I can and can't do. Talk to her right here. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm gonna drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Alright, bet we just try and get what we can do. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Oh, you don't see awesome. things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. to shoot one I could shoot one maybe if it were far away I'm just glad we're getting this fence built dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there how about yours how's your family I don't even know man I don't even know who my brother are. and parents are in Macon I hope oh man I hope so too maybe it's not too bad there that's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Right, bro. Thank you for the ride. Bro. Anyway, like, can you see my dad? Oh, we don't know what we want to do if you didn't come, bro. Like, for real, bro. I feel like the dad is pretty racist. I could be wrong, but... This is how I feel. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. A man asks you your name, you give it. Unless that name is no good. How'd What's you that get supposed out of that to mean, bro? On foot. I headed south and hoofed it out of there. That's a long walk. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. What is your family Pharaoh, now? What do you mean by that, bro? So you saying Why? if if, if, if one of your family members don't like me, you gonna kill me, bro? Oh my God! My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Oh, no. Oh. Go! I'll get my gun. Oh. Oh, shoot. Start 
started. I'm trying to drive her man. I got you. Drive. stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, Lee tried to save me. I know, son. I... Uh, he did. R.I.P. R.I.P. Rest in peace, bro. He didn't live long. He didn't live long, but he had a good life. to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. Exactly. If Kenny had helped, his son would be alive. And that's why I wish you were dead for the rest of my life. Please. You know you have to flip the script. Get out and never come back. It is your fault. You tried to save the kid. You didn't try to do anything. You let him die. Had to make it if you want it. Car, don't even well, like this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Okay, we're doing pretty good so far, you know. Living our best life. Okay. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. That's not my person. Fuck! We live in this and we place, can't just right? let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits! Oh no. We have to end this now. 
over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his well, head. We gotta throw his head. We gotta throw his head. What do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. Ah, uh, yep, you yep, need to fight calm move. down. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not, He's not bitten. bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. Oh, nah. I'm gonna kill him, gonna beat his ass. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my oh, daughter. Oh, nah, it's gonna be You're a zombie in here. You're just for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're is tossing bitten. him out now. And then he's bitten. No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> and they were worried about me, and they was out of it. They were so worried about Bear right there. They was all worried about Bear when they had a secret zombie in I'm standing it. Man. And they wanted to talk you okay? about it. And they wanted to talk about the little boy. They had a zombie right in the bathroom, man. Uh, guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? Whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was Man, we didn't uh, almost oh, die. We almost died because yeah. of you. Ah, ah. Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there, behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance, maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Ain't no Please educated guess. I probably need place before she hop. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. 
If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Alright, let me get bro his pills before you try to crash out. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. The cave. Ooh, take energy bar, yup. I'm looting it right now. Freak all that. Take the energy bar. We gonna need that when we when our character get hungry or we need some food. Take that other energy bar too, cause we gonna need that. We gonna need that. Okay, back. We gonna need that. Yeah, that's the bathroom. It's the little area. Okay, now where is the office at? Man, I don't wanna talk to you. Employees only. First aid kit, though. Get first, first aid kit. See if there's anything in there. Man, he ain't even gonna look in there, anyways. So we're gonna move this. See what's over here. saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. If, if that was his dad, Kane. My dad gave it to me. Don't that mean all these Gee, people dead now? Like that. Clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? No. What do you... What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach I'm history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. A little further, I'm a big lady. I don't know. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my 
family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Bro, I feel so emotionally emotionally attached with this character. Ow! Damn. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. Get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. nothing I need in here. Nah, we need all of it in there, bro. You never know, man. Batman. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. A protector, at least. There's a photo over there. Oh, no. Get to see his family on picture. Find anything? Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Sticking the first name. Yeah, it's getting juicy, y'all. It's getting juicy, y'all. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? Well, you can't. I trust you, suppose, but you don't have many other options. I 
everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Don't jeopardize this for me, bro. I feel like this dude gonna die some one time, bro. I don't, I don't want that to happen, man. I don't want it to happen. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Gotta be honest. Oh. Was he bad? He was he very was. bad. Very bad. Was he bad? Yes, yes, he was. He was bad. Man, we don't want to give her my only food. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I don't know why she's so I mad at me. I was doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, it didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, oh, fuck you! Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? Got kids here. Families. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick together and get through this. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. 
Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kinda in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got to jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Dang, Glenn back, okay? Bro, get I'll jumped. take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family. Doug got jumped by I'll take her and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. I still wanna look for those keys, but like Looks like nobody I'm... got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna Step outside, have a look around. <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Can't reach that brick. Let's head back inside. Okay. Anything happened to Ducky? I know, hon. Pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. 
Oh, not everything I need. Get down. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about it if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Go get her, girl. Okay, this is the plan. No way. You don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. We need a, we need a switch. Switch on that guy. Uh, We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. Sure, I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. We're going to need weapons. Let's head back to that wall. Save there. <laughs> Stuffy like that. Can't punch it because then they gonna come to me. You're gonna die if I do that, but it's worth the sh it's not worth the shot at all. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fella looking near the front. He's not going anywhere. What do I do? There's nothing else to do. And if I go up, it's gonna take me to the window. So I guess we gotta do what we gotta do, man. We gotta do what we gotta do. Ow! Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. 
But that's what we gotta do. It's nothing else to do. We gotta do what we gotta do. I'm done trying to punch out window. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go back there. There's a pillow over there. That's about as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. I'll take the pillow. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Then we go back over here. We throw it at the car. They really want to get into that room. See if we can throw this uh oh uh, yeah. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. Pretty sure we might be able to break it up. Yup. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. All right, there. Yeah. inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. There's a car up on rail. Just like that. Gotta take them out one by one. Just like that.
Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? W. Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Yeah, we coming in. FBI, open up. you help it's too late for that guys she's been bitten what i told you i said go away i'm bit but you wouldn't just leave let's calm down you could be fine i won't be fine my boyfriend was bitten you get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find you have a boyfriend when i don't want that it's not christian please just leave me please go I want to kill you, honestly. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please. We can do it for back. you, but we can't it's just get two you to seconds, now. just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up, please. <laughs> Oh no, we all dead. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You, you won't do it. This you won't. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. You won't. It's all just. No, no! no! Get out of here. Shit. Here go. they come. I gotta go. Run. Get in. Everyone all right? Had a call. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He 
won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. We just need to find out is who got the key. Adele. We'll do our damnedest. I'm not giving none of my chocolate bars away. Maybe I should. Maybe they give me the key. Here, I found some snacks. I'm cool. Not much of an appetite. Maybe save it for one of the kids. Wow. You know, I'm trying to be nice to you. How you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry. I mean, the folks that own this place. Just really good people. It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. Try to get some rest. Huh. Yeah, right. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. I can't reach that brick. Well, I didn't mean to press that. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. <laughs> 